Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. Super pumped for this video. Super pumped. I don't think I did favourites for, I want to say, at least over a half to three quarters of 2016. But this year, this January 2017, I have hit the ground running. Kudos to me. New baby, but guess what? Here, a lot. <coughs> kind of rhymed. So I'm really excited to be here today to do favorites, monthly favorites, because I always enjoyed doing these, especially when I was just filming a lot more. It's really good to be able to review your items or your products that you have acquired in that month and I guess share them as well. I get a lot a lot of ideas from other people's favorites. Shout out to Linda, my girl Linda, Leo Lion LV. She does fantastic favorites and I watch them and I always think, how does she show everything so incredibly quickly? She has a lot of items and her video isn't half an hour long. So that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna keep it moving and what I've decided to do this year with favorites is show you, you know, beauty, blah, 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 fashion, luxury. But I've also decided, because I am a new mum, I've decided to put some of Mussy's favourite things and my favourite things for Mussy. If you're a new mum or a mum or you're pregnant or anything to do with parenthood, you will enjoy that. If you're not and you only watch me for luxury, that's fine. You can fast forward through that part. But let's get started. I'm always obsessed with mugs. I got this one. I said I got it from Target, but I didn't. I, in fact, got it from Kmart. So this is my drink coffee like a boss mug. It has it on both sides. It's white. It is super huge and it's also a tumbler like it's got a little detachable uh, suction lid in light pink and I've been able to take it in the cart with me and I love it. Of course, if you did watch my Starbucks vlog, vlog sorry, this one is definitely one of my favorites. I would show, say my sweater weather tumbler is, but I only just used it for the first time the other day, so we stay true to favorites, girl. So these are going to be in some sort of category order, but look, they're not. They're kind of all over the place. I'll do these next. These are my Nikes. Love them. Got them to encourage me to walk, you know, try to clean eat and lose the baby weight in time, in time. And they definitely have helped me. I, you know, put Mussy in the pram and they're really comfy to walk around in. Um, some people don't like the Flex or, you know, the Nikes that are a bit lightweight and this. They say there's not a lot of support, but I like them. So these are what are called the Supreme Flex or Flex Supreme TR4 um, Nike trainers. So the Flex Supreme Flywire, and these are in the black with the rose gold tick. I picked these up from Foot Locker at Westfield in Burwood. No idea if that was correct. I was doing some business out of Burwood, I think, and this is where I picked these up. Is it? Yes. Maybe. Anyway, you'll probably find these in the Nike store, but I really like them. They're really great trainers. Next up is this guy. I have <laughs> less than a quarter of this perfume left, and I am usually so, so true to my Terry Mugler's Angel, but this is my Jo Malone uh, blush, a peony and blush suede. I picked this up, you would have seen it in an online haul, uh, courtesy of my gorgeous girl Jen, Jen G. Uh, she showed this in a What's In My Bag and I was like, I have to try it. It sounds right up my alley with, I love rose, anything rose smells. So this has just been non-stop. And the way I prove that is that I have less than a quarter left. Jo Malone packaging is so beautiful. I usually always have them sitting like that on my vanity because I think that they just go so pretty hand in hand. This is my iPhone 7 Plus. I'm throwing this in January favorites because I got it late last year and I didn't know if I was gonna enjoy a plus. I didn't know if it was gonna fit in bags. I thought it would be too cumbersome. But truthfully, this guy is fabulous. I do a lot of my work from this phone now, as opposed to always needing to go to an iPad or my uh, laptop because it is quite, because it is so large, I find it's fine to see all my work on it. 
Uh, the functions and whatnot are really great, similar to the 6. I wouldn't say it's a big upgrade in like its settings and whatnot, but I think it's a great, great phone. I've had a few questions as to what this case is. It's just a simple silicone case. It's a clear silicone case, and it just has like a gold, uh, rose gold foiled edge, and I thought it was quite funky. I just got it at a kiosk inside a mall. That is it. I told you these are at complete random, but this has to be in favorites. This is my Louis Vuitton toiletry 15 in the monogram canvas. I unbox this in my latest haul and I just think this thing, it blows you away. It really, really does. I just showed you my What's My Bag Wednesday with my Posh Matisse, how this thing can hold all of that junk down inside of it. I think it definitely holds a lot more than the mini pochette. Uh, I did get an email saying, you know, are you sure? Have you measured it? I have taken these things out and put it in and they don't fit. Uh, and then they said, well, would it be more cumbersome than a mini pochette in things? That is true. Yes, it probably is, but it's not bothersome. It's not as if you're like, oh, I'm losing so much space because I'm using my toiletry 15. This guy is definitely a favorite. I'm just reaching for it. I Sometimes when I downsize, I can get rid of my mini pochette when I'm using it and I don't mind whatsoever. Whereas this guy, I'm kind of like, no, I don't want to leave him behind. So this is in no particular order. This is really interesting. This is a beauty fave uh, and it's so cool. My sister-in-law bought me this makeup fix spray back from Dubai as a present. And she was raving about it and raving about it when she was over there. She kept sort of like texting me saying, oh, you're going to love this stuff for your videos. And it sets your makeup, da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, well, bring me some. It's the Dr. Rochelle Makeup Fixer and Skin Tightener. She's like, it's got collagen in it, which it says it does. Anyway, this is the packaging here. I don't know if you can only get it in Dubai. If you're interested in any new makeup, uh, spray that fixes your makeup. It's not like MAC Fix Plus. I feel like MAC Fix Plus sets your makeup, but it's more of a dewy sort of set. It doesn't, this stuff sets. <laughs> it is so incredibly good. I have been loving it and just, yeah, I've, look, I've gone through half of it and now I'm like worried that I don't know if I can get it again. I'm going to try and find this. Okay, next item is to do with makeup simply because that is what I hold in it. How could I not, right? How could I not? Massive, massive shout out to my girl, Amanda, the Lux Mummy. She started this phenomenon, okay? She did. I get emails all the time like, Jerusha, oh my gosh, your niece BB, your niece BB. No, Amanda started it. I saw her unboxing. She is a fabulous and it just sent me on an obsession. And now a few other girls um, in the community have got their hands on one too. If you are interested in this item, get on to an SA ASAP because they're going like hotcakes. I do know it will, it's a classic item now. I think, yeah, it is. The BB size is because the biggest size, the big train case is, uh, it, it's an iconic item. So I think the BB is around here to stay, but do check with your essay anyway. So this is the Louis Vuitton Nice BB you know, vanity case or train case, toiletry case, whatever you want to call it. Some girls are buying it and using it as a handbag, each to their own. I don't quite know how that would work because of the way it opens, which is the all around zipper top. And it just opens exactly like a vanity would. So I don't know how you would deal with that as a handbag, but that's fine. I use mine as a vanity, uh, like as a makeup case all the time. Um, people ask me if it is, how is it your makeup case? And then it's behind you. Well, I use my makeup and then I bring it down when I'm filming. Um, but it holds all my palettes predominantly. They're usually all down inside there. And honestly, guys... So glad I got my hands on this piece. So glad I got my hands on it. Not only because I feel like you're, in a way you're kind of getting a little bit of that iconic trunk kind of feeling. 
in an everyday item or if you're going to use it for travel that's fine but in a you know in an item that's accessible every day whereas a trunk you know the trunk luggage really is more of kind of a vintage piece or a piece that you'd travel with so the fact that it's really usable on a daily basis I think is just fantastic so this is my niece BB we've got the handle is patinaing nicely because it's incredibly hot here in Sydney most of the time but this is absolutely absolutely a favorite of January how am I going am I going quick am I going all right Linda does this so well oh my gosh okay quickly some of Massey's things all right these are definitely some of his thing favorite things ever his books we read to him religiously and he just loves it. He's definitely starting to reach for the book now and I'm like, no, no touching. So they don't sort of learn to rip them apart. But just books like these ones, Harry McClary is his favorite. Uh, Red Fish, Yellow Fish, oh, he loves these. The Finger Puppet book, <laughs> so cute. He loves Goodnight Sophie because he loves his Sophie. Um, he just is so into books and I, I'm so happy for that. He loves to look at the colors and look at the pictures and that's really good, especially at six months old. Now, I know that these sort of things can be really, really controversial. Well, not controversial, just very topical, especially with all like new mums or mummy forums. These pacifiers to me are fantastic. I can't have enough. I lose them all the time. I've shown you his froggy one. These are the Advent uh, dummies or pacifiers. They come in plain colors. They also come in clear, like there's no color. Mum loves those because they're not colored, but I can never find them if they fall in his bed. And then some come with little prints like the froggy ones, which he loves. And then I had just picked these up the other day. So there's some moon and stars on those ones, but these are so great. And I know mums can be really against dummies or pacifiers, but truthfully, each their own. If your baby comes into this world and is a sucky baby like Mussy is, to pacify and to suck is just something that's very soothing. And I don't think you should ever take that away from a child if that's what they want to do or, you know, their security blanket is what they like, then give it to them. I don't think it matters or it should matter. They're not going to take it to their 17th birthday party like walk in with it in their mouth, you know, and once they start to learn other things and get distracted, they don't want their pacifier anymore. Maybe just only at night. Um, but yeah, they're definitely, I have to mention them because if you're looking for a really good one, I went th through, sorry, a few and the advents work for me. How are we going? How are we going? Good, good. Okay. Some clothing. If you watched my vlog with my mum into the city, we went shopping. I mentioned to you that I wanted to try on the Gucci uh, Gucci logo slogan t-shirt that a lot of bloggers have at the moment. I tried it on. It wasn't flattering on me. It's actually a guy's t-shirt. It was too high in the neck and I have a large chest area so it just wasn't working. Uh, but I did want to show you, I said in that video that I'm really into slogan tees Maybe it's bordering on tacky, but I did want to show you some that I have acquired in my new obsession of slogan t-shirts. The current one I'm wearing is just from Kmart. Uh, it's just a, I love the military kind of khaki color of it, but it's a really thin kind of lightweight t-shirt. And here is a bunch that I want to show you. So these ones, this was one I wore in a vlog recently. Oh no, in a, um, in a video recently. These ones, which are more like band tees, these are all off prettylittlethings.com. I will leave the link below to their website. And they're actually t-shirt dresses. So you might have seen in that vlog, they're really long. They're great to wear over tights, leggings, you know, coming. This isn't, that's a normal t-shirt. Uh, but that's from um, prettylittlethings.com. And there is the swing tag so you guys can see prettylittlethings.com. I'll leave the links below anyway. So yeah, this is the one I wore in the vlog to the Louis Vuitton store at the rocks. But these are great because, you know, they cover when you wear leggings. They cover your bum because I ain't sure on my bum in leggings. And yeah, so it's a really great website. Definitely do check it out. Um, and this one I wanted to show you. This 
mom af you know it this is a shout out to one of my friends and subbies danielle she made these for us we both watch erin and erin williams i'll leave her link below if you're a mummy she does mummy vlogs and she she had this and uh, danny was like let's get them so she made us teas to say mum af because it's mum life were well, my slogan teas how am i going quite good next up these i got so many questions on these these were my sunnies in another vlog. When I get lots of questions in a vlog, it's good to sit down. Like, that's why it's another reason it's good to do favorites, because I can sit down and answer all the questions in a video, uh, rather than going through sort of repeating the answers on uh, comments. But these are from Key Australia, and these were acquired, bam, a couple of, <laughs> look at the reflection, you can see all my garden. But these were acquired a couple of, uh, maybe, yeah, three weeks ago on, um, I got a gift, a gift card as a present um, from a fashion boutique and they had Key Australia Sunnies and they had these. So this is the blue reflector lens with an actual brown tortoiseshell frame. And I liked that. I don't particularly love the blue lenses um, that Key do and they do a lot of them. Uh, I, I don't know, I just think it's really young and I don't know if I can pull it off. But the actual name of these are Genesis. I'm going to leave the link to these below on the website. A lot of people asked me about them. They were totally interested in them. But that is them up close with the brown tortoise shell. I think Key are very renowned for their blue lens. They're very known for it. But I just like the oversize of them and they're big square sunnies and they're great to hide behind. This guy. Okay. I think I have raved about it before in a what's in my bag. But... I have to show in the favourites. I'm true to my favourites. This is my Louis Vuitton Dragon keychain. Uh, key, it's just a, simply a key holder. It doesn't have a hook clasp on it as to be a bag charm. It's not a bag charm. It is a key holder. There is a uh, rotating key ring there. It's got the actual code on it. It's got the date code and Louis Vuitton engraved in there. It, it swizzles around and swirls on the ring. So it does, it rotates like that. And then it's got Louis Vuitton engraved on the uh, front of the plaque there. And then on the back, sorry, I should say front and then on the back. And then it is the small monogram canvas logo. And when I say small, this was the print size they did in like, the Blossoms collection. Uh, I just, I love the small, the, like it's like nano, like the micro print. I think it's so cute and so dainty. So when I saw it on this, I just totally fell for it. Uh, when Serena showed it to me and was sort of like, oh, we have this because I wanted to attach something to my car key fob. I've been keeping this separate for well over a year now from my actual house and office keys and post box keys. I just find it easier to grab and just undo my car that way. Okay, second to last item, I think. I'm like totally looking around. I don't know anymore. <laughs> no, I think it is. It is in here. It is back in its box because it is not currently being used. But it is this. I have had many questions many questions on this guy shout out to my gorgeous friend mini minx for all she is an absolute collector of these this is the chanel o zip coin purse or o coin purse o coin purse <laughs> it is beautiful this is it in the caviar leather with gold hardware super classic matches my wok perfectly it's got the all-around zipper and opens like so it's got the three compartments three gussets gussets in leather internal in fabric uh in the burgundy color which i think is just so gorgeous and so divine these little zip all around zip uh, sort of coin purses is perfect for cards. It does hold a little bit of flat cash for me because I don't mind folding them uh, And obviously your coins can go inside them for downsizing into smaller bags This is such a good option as well similar to the zippy coin purse from Louis Vuitton But a lot sort of shorter and longer this guy is fabulous and is definitely in favorites 
loved it loved it so much through december and january it's just such a great item okay and lastly of course i couldn't not mention it because it is now back in my life <gasps> the louis vuitton pochette matisse in all over monogram can classic monogram canvas this is the notorious bag, the absolute notorious bag. Shout out to everyone out there who has got their paws on one. It is truthfully, truthfully an amazing bag. I'm glad it's back in my collection. Yes, we all know many people have made comment that it went out of my collection and came back into my collection. I did a big rave video about it because there was so much sort of speculation about the different changes in models. And I have done a What's In My Bag Wednesday on it, but the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, if you have been thinking about this bag and you can't get it out of your head and you just want to know what the whole craze is all about, definitely, definitely go into a boutique and try this bag on. It will not disappoint. It just won't. You think, oh, you know, it's not for me, or it's not the right size, or I'm not quite sure. How do I put it? Once you get this bag in your hands, you know, you will know exactly what we are all talking about. This bag was acquired from fashionfile.com off the pre-owned market. I had it brand new. I sold it to my gorgeous Savvy Grant. Hi, Grant. Uh, for all different reasons, but I have got it back in my collection off the pre-loved market in the newest model of this bag and it is working like a gem. If you saw my What's My Bag Wednesday with it, you saw how much it fits for me, especially as a new mummy and how much it's working for me, but definitely, definitely raving about this bag. And as I said, if you've been thinking about it, go in and try it on, definitely, or try on a friend's if they have it, because trust me, it is worth everything. I know there's been a price increase on it, but it's just, it's worth even going in and having a look, because cost per wear, to pay it off, you just, you will love this bag. If you're a speedy girl as well, a speedy B girl, you will love this bag, trust me. Hey, that brings me to the end of my favorites. How did I do? I hope we got through them all quite well at a good constant speed. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Giving me thumbs up now on YouTube is really, really good for our channels. It totally shows that our channels aren't junk, aren't spam, aren't crappy channels. Um, we're all in good standing, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That would be great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, guys, I'd really appreciate that. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.